In this video, I will introduce the bevel tool. And to use the bevel tool, we have to be in edit mode. So let's uh, go into edit mode. And you can bevel vertices, and I'll show you that. But most of the time, you'll be beveling edges. So let's go into edge selection mode. The uh, <coughs> Let me deselect here and select one edge. The bevel tool is here. You can uh, cursor over it. It says bevel, so let's select that. And then you'll get this widget here. I can click, hold, and drag, and pull it up. And it'll bevel it. Okay, but that looks really yicky. All right, so um, there's whenever the tool is enabled, you can access the uh, some attributes here, but down at the lower left, uh, we can open up this window, the bevel window, and we can set the width and especially the segments. So let me, I'll just click one segment at a time so you can see, and I'll zoom out so you can see what's going on with the, uh, the bevel here. Okay, so that's seven segments. You know, it makes that nice roundedness. What's uh, a little bit strange in... Um, Blender is 0.5 is is round. Now, if I decrease that number to like um, you know 0.1, the it become it makes it a concave uh, bevel. Alrighty. So anything below 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to zero is a uh, concave. In fact, if I input zero, you see it gets a very severe, you know, uh, there's not much curve to it. And if I go over um, 0.5 with the shape, there it goes, it makes it less rounded. Okay, so play around with that. Um, with the uh, selection and the the bevel uh, visible. Mess around with the shape going from 0 to 1 just to see what happens, okay? Just to experiment with that. Uh, let me change it back to 0 0.5. And the other uh, attribute besides segments is the width. So like if I decrease the width, the the bevel decreases as you can see. So let me change that to 0.5 as well. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so that's the bevel. Now um, let me delete this cube. Okay, so I've made a new cube. I'm going to go into edit mode. Uh, I'm going to ensure that my bevel tool is in edges, so all edges are um, selected. So let me grab the widget here and I'll apply a bevel there and I'm going to put the width at 0 0.01. 0 0.01. I'll zoom in on that so you can see how small that is. All right and you might be saying okay so what? Well let me uh, deselect this and I put another cube in here somewhere okay and let me go back into object mode and zoom in so you can see it might be hard to see on the screen now the, this one on the left has that 0 0.01 bevel applied to it and this one on the right has no bevel. So the one on the right has this ideal 90 degree edge. It's an ideal 90 degree sharp edge, which does not exist in the real world. This 0 0.01 bevel I applied to this cube gives it just a little bit more reality. Okay, so um, something to keep in mind when you're modeling is to apply a very small, even 0 0.01 uh, might be a little bit too much, you know, like to apply, but do 
consider adding a very uh, short, you know, small bevel to your um, your objects on all edges. Let me show you one more thing here. Uh, let me get rid of that one. The bevel is commonly used like inside a corner edge like this. So let me go into edit mode. Whoops, let me select the object. Go into edit mode. Select this edge down here. And then apply the bevel to it. And increase the segments six or seven or eight. Eight's a good number. And so let me go back into object mode so you can see what this looks like. So this is a typically a typical application for a bevel is when you have like a sharp um, like a sharp 90 degree you can make it this nice rounded edge you know like if you're like modeling furniture or architecture or whatever. So I just wanted to show you that.